Hey guys, today I will be explaining why wars exist using Minecraft. Wars can be caused by a variety of reasons, but today we will be focusing on its relationship with human nature. Like that person over there. Okay, so as you can see, that guy was a reflection of what Thomas Hobbes would think of a human. That guy was very, very violent, just like how Thomas Hobbes uh, would think. So if you guys don't know, Thomas Hobbes was an English philosopher in the 17th century, and he believed that humans in a natural state acted like animals, like that guy. He just stabbed me in the back. There was absolutely no honor in that move. But unfortunately, I think that's what most Skywars players would do, because that's what would get you killed, and kills get you coins, and you can show off your coins, I guess. But that part is very important. Because if you were to put this on a bigger scale, then we can infer that humans, one, they like violence, and two, they like showing off your wealth that they have accumulated through the violence. And this situation, uh, if we were to apply it to a school, for example, then this would be equivalent to a bully bullying a victim before proceeding to steal and then show off the lunch money that the bully stole from the victim. If you were to apply this to a government scale, then this would be equivalent of a war, say America invading the Middle East to gain their oil, or the Spanish conquistadors in the 15th, 16th, and 17th century invading the Americas to gain their land and steal their gold. And that partially explains why wars occur. But before I go any further, I think I should explain why I was mining and getting that diamond sword. One, because I needed time to explain to you guys why wars occur, of course. But also because a sharp one diamond plus a strength potion deals, I think, like 12 damage per hit. So it's pretty much a two-shot kill on normal Sky Wars. And now there's only uh, three people left. It should give me a huge advantage over the next guy. Where are they? Oh, they're up there. Okay. Okay, I think this is a pretty good time to drink my strength potion and go PvP them. Alright, let's go. And victory! A very prominent human trait that causes war is greed. By nature, humans are very greedy people and will want more than what they already have, even if it is no longer a necessity. A simple way to earn those resources, aside from what the group of people already control, of course, is by attacking other groups of people. More specifically, groups that are militaristically weaker and are less able to defend themselves. In the context of Minecraft, this means attacking other players with weaker armor and weapons so they can have more souls and coins. Souls and coins are not very useful in real life, yet people will still kill each other virtually to get it. This reason explains why European powers such as the Spanish plundered the Americas during the Age of Exploration in an attempt to get more gold and resources. To demonstrate this, I will go to the Middle Island and see if a fight breaks out. I bet you it will. Alright, let's see what we have at mid. Okay, there's a guy over there. The chests haven't blown up. Oh! Alright. Okay. That's one victory. Uh, nothing here. Humans will also fight preemptive wars to eliminate threats that they think will be of concern. As Oxford history professor Margaret Macmillan puts it, suspicions and fear of others, from rival gangs to countries, can create perceptions of threats even where they may not exist in real life. In the context of Minecraft, this would be where I just killed a person who looks like he would do the same to me without any hesitation, albeit virtually in a video game. Real world instances include the attack on Pearl Harbor and the tactical placement of nuclear weapons during the Cold War. That guy is oblivious to me. Okay, let's go PvP. No armor. Okay, that's a kill. That guy's over there. If I beat him, it'll be a victory. Okay. Oh wow. Oh no no no, gotta run away. That's a good combo. Escape from it, he's low. Alright, that's another one. To demonstrate the inevitability of war, in this game I'll just keep to myself and camp the whole round, but at the end, people will still try to kill me. Okay, so there's a guy on that island. Okay, oh no! Okay, he just fell off the map. Thank you very much. That's one less person to worry about. Alright, looks like the people aren't at mid, so let's not go aggravate them. So right now we've been peacefully coexisting for maybe 5 or 10 minutes now, and I haven't killed anyone yet. People will fight for what they value, and in this case, it is the glory and the satisfaction of winning. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why human nature causes war, and why war is ultimately inevitable. Thank you guys for watching, this video is sponsored by my empty wallet, so if you guys could go like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. See you next time.